nice TT fish. I'm just going to give you a little instruction on how to use a lanyard with the net holster because it really works well. Here's a nice fish. Oh, it actually is a nice fish. First one in the morning. Oh. So the lanyard really helps when releasing these fish because you can. Gosh, that's a nice fish, actually. Look at that sucker. That's Ooh, pretty. I think you should put it in your pack, Wayne. No. Oh, it's got cut on it, too. A little bit of orange cutthroat. It's been a California fish. But anyway, this is what's nice about using a lanyard, because especially when you're more current than this, because you can just let the uh, your net go and it doesn't go anywhere. Boy, look at that. Beautiful colors. All right, let him go. And you just have the... <clears throat> I connect the uh, lanyard to the... Oops. That out in a minute, but I connect the lanyard to the yoke. I have a little piece of leather on mine, and then I have a clip. I'll come in and show you a little bit. I just have a little clip. It's nice because when you get in your, out of the, if you're just going to change holes in your car or something like that, or for lunch, you want to take your net off. You can just clip it on, take it off. I won't do it here. And then I take the uh, big clip off the back of the net to make it go in the net holster either easier, and I use a little carabiner. This is just a little cheap one from a five and dime store. Net holster's got a hole in the top, and it doesn't seem to get in the way. Just put it in, and it just hangs there like that. That's a really good, it's just really handy. You never lose your net. I don't lose it anyway, but it's handy to be able to take the fish in there. That's how you use the lanyard with the net holster. Thanks.